Hey everybody, it's Robin, and I am so excited to share these books with you. I make recipe binders, and the girls were talking the other day at coffee that they couldn't find a recipe, and I said something about these binders, and they're like, oh, will you make us one? So I made Liz and Tracy one. It is, the front cover is, the paper I cut is 7 inches by 9 inches, and it's just a binder that you can get at staples. There's sleeves that you can buy for them and I just went on Word and typed recipes and where they found it or who it was from and then just a whole bunch of lines and I just cut it to fit in the sleeves. So Liz's she wanted like a lime green bright colors something fun and this matches Liz's personality perfectly and I knew right away that I wanted to use that Prima Doll stamp and that stove. So this is the doll stamp from Prima that we all love. And I, obviously I paper pieced her dress and I'm going to zoom into her hair. Maybe. There we go. And I used E00, E000, and E50 on her skin. And then her hair I used E34, E35, E57 and E59 and then took just a little bit hold on of uh, it's not going to zoom in at all Y17 just to add a few little highlights and I don't know if that's picking it up at all because she has like some different highlights in her hair and it turned out perfect and her hair is right now is shorter it's really curly but I can't do curls. So she turned out perfect. So I paper pieced her with this uh, flower paper that I had in my scraps and I think it matches this 50's vibe that I kind of went with with the old stove and that. Knew she had to sit on a rug. So in Elegant Edges on page 45 I cut this oblong piece out for the rug and so with the rug it was just too plain do you see the purple highlights that I have and I kinda wanted it to mimic like an old um, I can't think of what you call them rag crocheted like one in the middle and then added the the white I don't know how the white highlights are coming across on the screen but they look good in person and what I used to do that with is this stencil collection. I don't know if this is still on HSN or not, but that's where I got it a long time ago. So if your projects, you're looking for something to give it just a nice highlight, but nothing to stand out like a sore thumb, this is the way to go. And I absolutely love these. I grab these all the time for that. And then I also went around the edges with it, and it looked perfect. It was just way too plain and looked bad. So once I got the rug cut and knew I wanted to use the stove from, from my kitchen cartridge for Cricut, whoops, the stove is on page 30, and I love the stove and the refrigerator in this. It is so cute. And I believe I cut the stove out at three inches. And I did it in just some pinks and aquas just to give it some bright kind of 50s vibe color. I also wanted to use the pie and it's on page 67 and I think that is cut at one and a half or two inches. But I wanted it to like be big just because Liz has a big personality in that and just wanted it to be funky and fun. Isn't that cute? I just love it. Then on the frame up here in the corner where I have Liz's recipes and I I print lit that on Word. I type it up on Word and just stick my paper to it and print it on there. That little frame is on page 29 of Elegant Edges right there and that was cut at like one and a half inches too. The inside was white but it just looked funny so I took my black Copic marker to the inside just to kind of highlight it some and make it look a little worn. 
and I always take a white highlighter pen and give everything highlights just because it just sets it off that way and I love how that turned out too. Once I got everything placed down and the rug in that it just needed something down here on the bottom so I just took a piece of the paper and I don't even know what size that's cut at and just laid it down until I, I thought it looked right and then took another piece to the top and used a scallop punch just to finish off the top edge because it was really plain looking. So that is Liz's and it turned out super cute and now here's Tracy's. Liz and I have a big personality. We're the loud ones in the group in that. And Tracy is so much fun too but she's the quiet more calm one. So she wanted purple and so I used a dark purple for the background and decided that I would use storybook for some different um, pieces on it and on page 38 I used this flower like but I used it in the corner on page 30 I used the border butterfly I cut two at one inch and one at one and a quarter inches and you'll see that some of them have like the different purple. I couldn't find like a purple in my stash that I really liked going with it. But I took a sponge dauber and Dusty Concord, Tim Holtz Distress Ink, and just went over the top of them and it turned out perfect. And I also used like this swirl piece here in three spots from Calligraphy Cartridge. I don't have that book out. I used some of the Ziva Creative Pearls in three different spots and then used Martha Stewart Punch to punch out two butterflies. So that turned out super cute. On her little um, frame for where it says Tracy's Recipes, I used this one here on from Elegant Edges on page 63. And I cut it at four inches, the purple piece and then the the green piece I cut at 3.75 and once I laid it down there it needed a little something so I cut another black one out at 3.75 and just kind of just gave it a little bit of the edging to frame it out and make it look a little nicer. The flowers are from I Am Roses. I have found that turquoise is like a great neutral color and if you're digging through your stash and you're trying to find something, a flower or something to go with it Grab that turquoise because I'm telling you, it is a fabulous color and goes with everything. So I put a couple of those in. Had to add a couple pink ones just to give it a little bit of something. And I think it turned out beautiful. I have a stamp that is a stitch stamp because I can't do stitch lines and make them look right at all. So I used... Um, white embossing powder and emboss those on because if if you don't do something with the top up here and give it like a finished edge it just looks like you're missing something and then I also did it on the bottom but I have to zoom in and let you see what it says there disclaimer after coffee drinks and dessert so <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny so she's not gonna cook until after she has coffee drinks and dessert but I love them and I know they're going to love them. I'm going to add another picture of a binder that I, I made for my niece for her wedding here at the end of the video. So check that out too. But thanks for stopping by and have a great week.